Hi there, uh, my name is Vicky Corgate and I work as a clinical research assistant at Rostell's Equine Hospital in Newmarket. This case report entitled Surgical Treatment of Phimosis Due to Propitial Stenosis in a Thoroughbred Cold was produced by myself and my co-author Richard Payne, who is a partner at the same institution and was the surgeon involved in the treatment of this clinical case. Phimosis is defined as an inability to protrude the penis past either the pucial ring or orifice, and it can be a congenital or an acquired condition. Acquired phimosis is usually the result of trauma or tumour invasion, and has been reported in horses following the penile laceration and subabdominal region trauma. Congenital phimosis is rare, but has been documented to occur in dogs and cats as a result of a persistent penile frenulum an inappropriately short penis, and a good stenosis or complete absence of a propitial opening. However, although textbooks mention the condition in the stallion, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first clinical case report of surgical treatment to correct congenital propitial orifice stenosis in the colt. So, a six-month-old thoroughbred colt presented to us with a three-week history of discomfort and an inability to protrude the penis during urination which led to an accumulation of urine within the prep use and intermittent dribbling rather than release of urine in a continuous stream. Prior to this period, the cult had been observed to urinate normally and had no known history of trauma or infection. Clinical examination revealed an abnormally thick and fibrous propitial orifice but an otherwise normal penile anatomy. Under sedation, the penis could be manually extruded, albeit against significant resistance but a retraction took several hours. With no evidence of trauma or a persistent penile frenulum, attentive diagnosis of phimosis due to congenital percussion orifice stenosis was made. Due to the young and unhandled nature of our patient, it was elected to proceed straight to exploratory surgery under general anaesthesia, which would allow for further investigation as well as potential surgical treatment as deemed necessary. Close visual inspection at surgery confirmed the presence of a constrictive ring of fibrous tissue that was reducing the diameter of the propitial orifice. At three sites where the constrictive annulus appeared thickest and most extensible, two centimetre stab incisions were made and the fibrous band identified, isolated and elevated using blunt dissection before transection with ligature atlas. This achieved satisfactory release and the skin and subcutaneous incisions were closed in two layers. A sample of the fibrous tissue was retained for histological examination and this revealed mostly skeletal muscle with some regions showing mild intrafascicular fibrosis and myofiber atrophy. Although histology could not definitively confirm a congenital origin for the constrictive tissue ring, the clinical history indicated as such. With a single owner and no known history of trauma, it would suggest that propitial orifice stenosis had been present since birth. It is likely the condition was initially asymptomatic, as has been reported in dogs and cats. But with the growth of the proportional relationships with the penile tissues changes, and at a critical point the stricture likely began to restrict perfusion and cause the lesion to become clinically relevant. Postoperatively, the decult developed significant perfusional edema and swelling, and initially the penis seemed to permanently slightly protrude from the prep use, but this resolved by 48 hours. CCT observation confirmed that the cult was now capable of normal penile extrusion and retraction during urination, and there was no further accumulation of urine within the prep use. Eleven months after discharge, the cult continued to be able to extrude the penis and urinate normally. A slight excess of skin was present at the end of the prep use, but this was only of minor cosmetic concern. The key aim of this case report was really to report an unusual clinical finding and to suggest that congenital propitial orifice stenosis should be considered as a differential diagnosis if you are presented with a young cult suffering from phimosis. Additionally, we wanted to report that we found that simple transection of the constrictive tissue ring was an effective treatment option. We thank you for listening and further details can be found in the full written case report in Equine Veterinary Education. All of our author declarations should now be visible on screen. Thank you.